Well, my name is Marcus Braybrook, and I live in England, and I'm a Church of England priest, a parish priest for something like over 50 years. But I've also been involved for many years in interfaith work, especially through the World Congress of Faiths and the Faith and Belief Forum, and as a great friend and ally of the Temple of Understanding and other bodies, so one of my hopes has been to bring together the different people so that who are involved so we really have a, a movement which can help to change world consciousness and of course as part of that has been the need to encourage people to learn about each other's religions and to meet with other religions and perhaps um well just one suggestion that everybody could do is try to find out uh, to meet somebody of another faith and ask how that faith or their personally but the, the lost philosophy uh, enriches their life. What is the one gift from their faith tradition they would like to share? The climate issue relates to so many issues. They seem to be bound together. I mean, the com conflict of war produces desolation and deforestation and so on. In many, a matter of Africa, Ethiopia and that area, it is because of conflict, the soil has eroded, trees have been cut down. So there's that area of, of, of conflict. Um, the whole um, need for better methods of agriculture, but also a whole new philosophy which respects all life that's uh, uh, the natural world isn't there just to be exploited, but to be valued and treasured. And I'm aware that particularly in the past, Christian t teaching has often so sort of suggested that humanity was their master of all creation, whereas I see that we're the servant of all creation. And this, I think more and more, I'm aware just of the beauty and the value of all life. And very particularly during this coronavirus, we've been having walks and it's of nature. And I keep me noticing the very tiny insects and thinking they have a life too. And what does that all mean? And the tiniest flowers and somehow have a sense that every little uh, bit of life is precious in God's creation. Mm -hmm.